So it is new gear day. You know how we all feel on a new gear day. That sweet, sweet dopamine hit that we all crave when we're sitting around unemployed during pandemic round two, still part one, part two, whatever you want to call it. But I found damn near my dream amp, and that is the VHT Pitbull. This is the 5012, so it's a 212 combo from VHT. It doesn't have the graphic EQ built in, but it does have the capability of doing the 6L6 or EL34s. Uh, I know a lot of their other combos used EL84s, so I was pretty stoked knowing that I could run 6L6 or EL34s. I prefer EL34s, so it was good to go for me right out of the bat. Uh, one rect yeah, one rectifier tube, four preamps. It's uh, not the most high gain, but it's definitely pretty substantial. I would definitely say it's more than a JCM 800, but less than like a Mesa. But I feel like these amps are like the best blend of like a Marshall and a Mesa where it's got some growl, but it's also got that low end from the rectifier. So you get like a nice mid range attack with a lot of bottom end, but it's also not super shrill on the high end. It's actually a relatively dark amp and I kind of prefer that just cause we can always EQ our guitars later and brighten them up when we need to. It's a little bit more annoying whenever they're already super shrill. So it's got a boost, it's got an edge and it's got a shift function on it. Boost does what it sounds like it does. So it just pushes it a little bit harder. So the edge switch is a frequency dependent gain boost. So basically what that means is it's going to kind of, the higher you play up the neck, it's going to add more gain just to keep those notes sustaining, which is a pretty cool feature. And with the shift function, what that does is it'll take your bass, your mids and your treble, and it will shelve those down quite a bit. Um, so most of the time I keep everything in minus the shift. I think the edge is a nice little, it's just kind of like running two clean boosts the way I look at it and the more the merrier with these especially when they're built in because this amp can take anything you throw at it and it is super super awesome I am very excited that I came across one of those so enough of me blabbering let's actually hear what this guy sounds like All right, so for this demo, we're going to be using my EC-1000 loaded with EMG 8185s. We'll be running through my board utilizing the effects loop in this as well for any of the uh, modulation, delay, or reverb effects. From there, we're going to be going speaker out. Uh, I have the front two speakers disengaged here. So we're just going straight out of the back into the Captor X and then straight into my computer. And this is what that sounds like. All 
it's just so thick just without any boost in front of it but let's uh let's start on the boost here so i'm gonna be going back and forth between the hell stash and the oppressive cult destroyer from abominable electronics here both of those are the god city instrument collaboration so there's a little bit extra gain on tap on the hell stash and the oppressive cult destroyer has an hm2 blend knob where i have it kind of set just shy of noon so we're gonna be jumping back and forth between those for a second we're gonna start off with the hell stash here And now the oppressive cult destroyer. <laughs> It's just so awesome. <laughs> I am such a fanboy of these amps, so apologies up front here. To me, it's just, it just kills it. It does everything I want it to. It handles both these pedals very well. But for now, we're just gonna keep it EQ'd how I like to run this, but here in just a minute, we'll actually go through and kind of mess with all these and see what they actually do here so the leads on this to me definitely have that like progressive metal kind of sound where it's got a lot of pick attack but it's still like kind of fat um and i think that's pretty awesome for a lead tone like the effects loops in these like they just handle pedals so well there's no weird volume shifts that are going on which i like it's got a blend on the back which is cool too but I just have it full board just because all these are a lot easier to mix. But all right, so let's mess around with some lead stuff here for a minute. Uh, I'm going to be kicking on a couple different pedals, but for the most part, it's just going to be the Nemesis delay from Source Audio making all the noise or carrying all the delay here. So let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> So good. Let's uh let's boost it a little bit. Just the vibrato is just cut through so much and I just can't get over it.
it's just so good. It's nice knowing that you can just go straight for Just with adding a little bit of delay in it, not having to make a where you're, you know, you didn't have to rely on an extra channel on this. You didn't have to build another preset just for your lead tones. It's nice just being able to have all your grounds covered in one box, in my opinion. Maybe it's me being lazy. Maybe it's simple. I don't really care because it's what I prefer. You know, not this isn't me bashing on any of the digital stuff, but the only negative stuff I can truly say about any of that is I feel like I spent too much time tinkering with tones instead of playing guitar at times. Where with this, found a good tone, added some pedals, done. Not not having to really make too many adjustments. And that's kind of what my whole goal with this was. So yeah, I am very happy with this so far. With all that being said, let's uh, swap over to the clean because I feel like I wouldn't be doing the same justice if I didn't show off how good these cleans are as well. All right, so... For the cleans, I just have everything disengaged in terms of the boost and the shift and the edge for this. So this is without any pedals on, this is what that sounds like. Let's get a let's get a little dreamy with this. just super it's definitely got to me like that nice like fendery it's got like a heavy bottom going on to it it's very glassy and bulby which is like a clean sound that i really like to go for um because with this there's just a the volume there's no extra gain so the boost is just boosting whatever your level volume is at so on the clean compared to this you just have four knobs to adjust here but that all being said, it does handle pedals pretty well too. Let's uh, let's kick on some different overdrives and get some sounds. Right now, I'm going to be using the Hellstash with the Walrus Audio Julia, and I think y'all will recognize this. <laughs> Thank you. 
yeah, you can uh, definitely get some pretty cool tones out of that. I wouldn't, you know, use this clean channel for trying to do like extreme death metal, but you know, if you're wanting to do some, you know, kind of plexi ish sounding stuff, I think you'd probably be able to achieve that kind of stuff. It can definitely get some good prog tones with just like a little chorus. So, kind of in that territory of like a little bit of a jazz chorus. <laughs> Anything you throw at it, this thing is capable uh, of handling it, and I think it's awesome. But with all that being said, let's uh, let's set some loops, and I'm actually gonna adjust this EQ a little bit, and we're gonna see what all kind of tones you can actually get out of this amp. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so that was the Pitbull 5012. I just absolutely love this amp. It checks off so many boxes for me in terms of just functionality and versatility. I feel like I can dial in just about anything I want with just these two channels. And to me, that is very impressive. I feel like with the drive channel having two different boosts, I think that's a really useful feature depending on what kind of sound I'm gonna go for. Nine times out of 10, I'm probably gonna have that thing turned on, but being able to disengage that and play with some other overdrives that I have and kind of get in that middle ground territory between the two is a pretty fun option to have on tap. I don't have the foot switch for this, so I don't know what all comes on there. It, I'm assuming it's just a channel selector and at least an effects loop. There is a built-in reverb. Haven't really tried that just because I have reverb on here. Um, and since I don't have a pedal, can't really turn it on and off. So just keep that off for the time being. I would assume on these it does have, because I remember on the old CLs, it would have an option for your boost or your EQ. So if that was the case, that would be a really awesome feature if you could toggle between the channels and turn the boost on and off with that. Other features, the effects loop in this thing is incredible. You can run it series or parallel. Um, you can cut it 10 dB and get it super quiet if all your pedals are super noisy. There's also just a mix knob on the back of it as well. So you can, you know, I, I just keep it all the way up, but if you wanna, you know, really fine tune your delays, if it's a little overwhelming and you don't wanna get down on your board and mess around with stuff, especially if you have a lot of like digital delays or reverbs, like the Nemesis, I wouldn't wanna have to go in and try to fiddle with anything mid song just cause it's all digital, it's not anything analog. So it's everything stored and some features you have to like hold buttons down while you're adjusting stuff to get the levels right. Um, so just being able to reach back here and turn it up or down, that's a, that's a pretty cool option. I think this is just an incredible amp. I am very, very thrilled to have came across one of these again. I would absolutely love to find one of the heads of these, um, whether that's just the CL or the Ultra Lead. I think all of the amps that Steve Wright makes are just absolutely fantastic. So if you haven't had a chance to ever play on one and you come across one, I would probably honestly just say go ahead and buy it because you're not going to be upset with that purchase. But yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button on your way out and let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I will see you guys later.